Okay, so now we're going to do um, another tomato cage Christmas tree, but it will be with yarn. And I'm using this one pound roll of this really pretty green um, acrylic yarn. Um, I actually have two of these because I don't know how much I'll need to use. things like that. So I'll start off by tying off the top. get a close-up of this so that you can actually see it because <clears throat> at this point well so maybe this is better you're just going to take one piece wrap it around one stick and tie it off knot it up as best as you can that secures the knot then standing you can start weaving this between, loop, down, loop, down, loop, up, loop, up, loop, and back and forth until you finish the piece. So I'll get started and show you how I do it. So this piece I'm taking through here and then back out. So this is going to create my loop here. Then I'll take it through here and back out. And this will create my second loop. Make sure you don't have to worry about pushing these toward the this rib just yet because the more you get on here, the easier. I mean, you can still push it over. And then you'll take, get through the bottom, back out, and tighten it. Before you come back to the top, inside, and back out, and through. And then you'll go up here and then through the center. So every second section you go through is the same section that you'll come out. So back up through here and back across that top TP portion. Just loop it over the, the top and then come back down. You'll do the process all over again. And at one point, especially when you get close to the end portion, you're going to have to um, finish that piece off and part off in pieces.
point where the space between um, the loop won't allow this roll to go in or fit in easily so I'm having to force it so I've gotten so far um, as you know tomato cages are in three parts so I still have two parts left and then um, this small part this small part of this portion let me show you how the top looks so far. Um, so it's like this, where it has wrapped around just one of the three prongs at the top. So that's how exactly how I want it. Um, not tied off, just wrapped around. So from here on, because we can't fit the spool through there, I'm going to measure the length to take one uh, or I'm going to measure off a large bead of length of um, this yarn and then just hand feed it through. And then when I get to a point where I'm out of yarn, I'll just tie it off and hopefully that's at the top. If it's not at the top and I don't have enough to come down, I'll tie it off at the top anyway and then cut off the excess. Okay, y'all. So the tomato cage yarn Christmas tree is done at least the outer layer is done and this part was really really easy so I hope you guys try it you can see my three pieces poking out from the top um, and it I was inspired by these kids throwing a tantrum uh, at Hobby Lobby because they wanted a Christmas tree in their bedroom this would be perfect for kids um, and grandkids so they can have something that's you know doesn't have any maintenance it's not a live tree and you don't have any bulbs, so it's not a hazard. Um, and it's easy to maintain. You just put it in some sort of bag and then next Christmas pull it out again. So the fun part is the decorating. So that's what we're about to do now. Um, now that this piece is all ready, we'll go ahead and make some um, actual pom-pom balls um, as Christmas balls and decorate the tree with those. And then I have some cute... Uh, this type of ribbon it's like a a striped ribbon i think that's real fun so let's get started on the pom-pom ornaments and then we'll be done with this bad boy in no time 
Okay, so for the next part of the project, you are just going to need some yarn um, to make these little ornament balls for your Christmas tree. Um, so far I have red, I have six red and four white. My whites are a little bit smaller than my red. Um, so, and I'll show you how I did that. And then you need a pair of scissors and then of course the clover pom-pom maker. This one is an extra large, so um, I'll link, hmm, I'll probably put a description of the product in the bottom, in the description box. Um, but they're really easy to find, they're affordable, and they come in a various sizes. And I get the big one because I can make big ones and those medium sized ones just from that one um, roll. So I'll show you how I do it on a medium one, and then if you're interested in doing larger ones, you would just... Um, it basically do the other side of the pom-pom uh, maker. So let's get started on this process. Okay, so you grab your pom-pom maker and open one side. So each side has um, just two little levers and they snap close, they snap close, and then you can open the other side to start to make the larger pom-poms, you wrap both sides. So for this project, we're only going to need to wrap one side. And I'll show you how I do it. Um, you grab your yarn um, and then you place it. I, you, you can put it here so that it locks it on the loop, but I, I'm just gonna let you know, I just hold mine. So I put my thumb on top of the, um, or the bottom of the side that I'm going to use. And then all you're doing is wrapping the yarn around the base or around this portion of the pom-pom maker. Um, so you just keep wrapping until you get to the desired thickness. And it doesn't matter, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I don't think, I haven't found one. Um, I just wrap starting from one end and then I make my way around to the other side and I just keep going. And then um, once you get to this side, just go back and you'll continue to build layers. Once you're done with this side, that's only half of your pom-pom, well, for a bigger one. Then you close this bad boy and then you start um, wrapping the other side. And then once you're done with that, you close it and then you cut through this channel they provide with your scissors and that opens the pom-pom. You put it, you add in a piece of um, regular yarn through that slit and then you cinch it and there you have it, a pom-pom. So let's finish with this one portion and then um, we'll start cutting it and then I'll show you how to decorate this yarn tree for yourself or your kids or your grandkids, whoever you want it for. Okay, so I have <laughs> wrapped this one um, to the thickness that I want because I want smaller pom-poms like this small one, um, not the larger one. So I wrapped it just the first half and now the only thing that I need to do is clip the yarn off. And before I close it, because I'm only doing half and I kind of jerry-rigged this bad boy to <laughs> to be the type of um, a medium producer instead of a jumbo. I'm going to feed my yarn, just in the event that you have one of these already and you don't know how to do it, just feed your yarn through one, the hole in the center. Hold that hole, hold that yarn next to the yarn piece that you have and just let, let this other piece slide through this slot. So you're just holding it there and the only reason is because you want to block uh, this metal piece in the center for when you have two pieces it, it helps protect the, the, the actual large mound. So we're just doing half. This is a trick that I do. Just put it in the middle and then close the ends like that and then you're just going to cut through that channel. I don't know why I grabbed my small scissors. 
I have some larger ones that will do a much better job of cutting through here, but it is what it is. So there you have it. And I'm just going to trim off that piece because I already know it's going to be an excess. So while it's still in this position, you want to grab those two ends and bring them through the channel. And then tie it off. You want to knot it. And just don't pull too tight because yarn isn't, you know, stone. It'll, it'll snap. So that's tight. And I'm just going to knot it off with one more tie. And there you have it. So all you have to do now is release your pom-pom from its case. <laughs> and you have, you have a small one. So, with the, this done already, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating this tree. of our kid friendly Christmas tree um, and I'm using this wired cream and red um, yarn, or ribbon material to do that and it's just a simple gathering bow we won't do anything fancy um, but it looks really nice once it's gathered on top because we're not putting an ornament on the kitty tree we're only putting this soft uh, ribbon um, as a bow so I'm gonna roll off quite a bit and then I've cut already, uh, I guess, what's that, 12 to 18 inch piece of um, 22 gauge wire, as well as two smaller pieces just in case um, to, ho to hold the actual ribbon together once we get it into our bow format. So we want to start with a tail, and that's the tail that's going to curl around the top of the, the structure, uh, the tree. The tree is 48 inches tall, so we don't want to have a ribbon that drapes the floor. Or maybe you do, but I don't think so. So I'm going to do probably a, a 12 to 15 inch tail and then just start looping it. The best thing about this ribbon is that it's the same color pattern on each side. So it's not, you know, one sided ribbon. So it's just going to make it, it better. So I'm just making a loose loop on either side of my hand and then just holding it in the middle. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to where I want it to be. Actually, I'm out of ribbon, so this may be a perfect place to stop. I'll do one more. All right. So that's how my ribbon or my bow will look. And I'm just going to curl this one around to the front so that it's facing the front. And so now I'm going to take one of the smaller pieces. I just looped this last loop. I just took it and shortened it and then put it on top of itself so I have this small bow free feature right here in the center. And I'm just going to put this small piece of wire through the loop and then while holding it wrap it around till I get to the back and then I'm going to twist it off like that and so that is 
our twisted bow. And just make sure you tuck all these pieces so that you don't have any hazards. And then you, you go ahead and you fuss with all of your loops to make them look how you want. Fluffy, rolly, however you want it to look. So that's the finished product. Thank you.